Hello class, and welcome to this Bloxo's EDU tutorial video about block types. In this video, I'm going to show you what each different type of block does. First, let's go to Builder. We're going to go into the Games icon, so tap on that. And then to start, we're going to create a new game. So tap here on the top left. What you'll see is a giant board for you to create your own games. We're going to focus in on this one area. Now along the right, you'll see a bunch of different colored squares. These are our block types from top to bottom. First, we're going to start with the green block, which is the earth or terrain block. These are the blocks that you're going to walk on. So I'm going to build a little bit of terrain that we can jump around on. As you can see, the character lands on top and can jump to each different green block. You can create platforms like this. The next block we're going to look at is the blue block. The blue block can be used as water. So I'm going to create a little pool of it here, and I'll show you what it looks like when we jump in. I'm also going to go ahead and use the red block, which is the hazard block. Hazard blocks can be treated like lava or spikes, something dangerous for your character to land on and get hurt by when they land on them. Let's drag our character over here and test these two out. As you can see, when he jumps into the water, he slows down a bit. When you're in water, jumping out of it takes a little more than just a regular double jump, so you have to jump a few times to get out. Now jumping on the hazard makes your character blink, and you bounce off of it, and takes a heart away. Jump on it again, we lost a second heart. Now let's take a look at the yellow block, which is our collectible block. These blocks can be used like coins, something that your character will pick up while you play, and collect until you get to the end of the game. You jump through them, and you collect them. Go grab these other two. And if you look at the top left of the screen, you'll see that I've picked up four coins. Next, I'm going to show you the purple block, which is the enemy block. Now, this block has two types to jump out to the right, both walking and flying enemies. So to show you both, I'm going to throw a walking enemy here and here a flying enemy up here and here. These enemies will move back and forth on their own. Let's check it out. You see how they move back and forth? To get rid of enemies, all you have to do is jump on their heads. Poof, just like that. Next, I'm going to show you the action block, or the orange block. Action blocks are used as items that you can pick up as a player and throw at things. These blocks can be used for all sorts of different reasons, but I'll show you right now how we're going to use it in this. If you tap the hand icon on the screen, you can pick up the block, and then you can throw it. Notice how the block both picks up coins and kills the enemy that I threw it at. You can use these blocks to do all sorts of cool things. You can even use it to walk across lava. So if you have multiple orange blocks, you can create a bridge. The next block type I'm going to show you is the pink block. Pink blocks have three types that they can be. They can be hearts, character swap, or a jetpack. Just for this video, I'm going to show you the hearts as an example. The heart power-up will allow you to get hearts back that you've lost. So say I started here and jumped in the lava. Notice that one heart went away. Now if I jump and pick up that heart power up, that heart comes right back. You can use these to give your players a chance to get their health back as they play. Finally, we're going to look at the story block. This block allows you to create your own story in your games. Just tap on the block here and type in what you like. This is a checkpoint, so I'm going to type in, you made it to the checkpoint. If you want to add more text, you can tap on the add text box and it will bring up a second block for you to type in. So I'm going to type in good job. Finally, because I said it's a checkpoint right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this checkpoint button and slide it to the right. When it's green like this, it means the checkpoint is on. I'll show you what this looks like. If we head over to the right, we will see a checkpoint pop up over the box. This means we've made the checkpoint. Hit the little interact button on the bottom and you'll be able to read the text, both lines that we wrote. And the last thing I want to show you 
is the end flag. Now the white block can be end flags as well. So I'm gonna erase this one I have right here real quick and I'm gonna grab the end flag and put it there. As soon as you put the end flag down, it allows you to choose a victory effect. My favorite is delicious, so I'm gonna pick that one. End flags allow you to put a clear end point to your game. And they all have cool little animations like this one. It's just the best. And that's all of the blocks you can use in Bloxo's EDU to create your own games. Be sure to get creative with the different ways you use each block and you can create truly unique games. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and check out the other tutorials that we have up. I'm sure you'll learn something new. Have fun out there and I'll see you next time.